everyone welcome back to the channel i know it has been quite a while since i uploaded on here but i'm back with more recipes we'll definitely make sure to upload more often on here so as you read by the title we're going to make some vermicelli with chicken a recipe that i'm sure you will definitely love so without further ado let's get started We're first going to marinate the chicken. Mine were marinated overnight, which I strongly advise you to do because it will definitely make a difference on the, the, the taste of the chicken. It was marinated with um, garlic powder, Creole seasoning, and salt. Definitely adjust that to your liking. Next, I'm going to cut the carrot. This is the only vegetable that I'm going to use here. I'm just going to dice them like this. The onion, I'm also gonna cut them in small pieces, like pretty much like this, but you can cut them in any shape that you prefer. Maybe dice, that's also um, a great way of cutting the onion. So I'm gonna cut them like this, set aside, and on high heat, I'm going to add the oil. Once it's hot, I'm gonna add the piece of the chicken, only three chicken legs. So I'm gonna fry them until golden brown like this. Then after that, I'm gonna go ahead, reduce the oil, definitely. Add the onion and uh, add my seasoning. I'm going to add the green seasoning, minced garlic, garlic powder, onion powder and adobo. Also some black pepper, cayenne pepper for some spiciness. Then I'm gonna mix this all together. Next, go ahead with the carrots. I'm gonna add that to the onion and mix it all together again. At this point, I kinda feel like I needed to add more oil to it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Add some salt and Maggie cube. You can definitely adjust the seasoning to your preference. Go ahead and add the piece of the chicken. And if you need to add some water to it, then uh, feel free to do so. As you notice, I didn't add any mustard. I totally forgot to add any mustard, but it definitely turned out good. So if you want, you can also add some mustard to it. To reduce the heat and uh, let it cook for I would say three to five minutes. I ended up adding one more onion to it. So like I said, there's never too much onion when you're making a onion stew like this. So definitely add a generous amount of onion when you're making this type of stew. So we're gonna put this aside. Once the chicken is well combined with the onion, the seasoning are correct, then we can put that aside. Next, we're gonna make some um, curry sauce, I would say. So add some hot water, curry powder, and uh, mix it all together. Add some salt. No worries, all the ingredients along with the measurement will be listed in the description box, so don't forget to check that out. Next on low heat, add some oil to the skillet. Once it's hot, go ahead and add the vermicelle or the vermicelli. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, you know. <laughs> we're pretty much going to fry this kind of, but we don't want to burn it at the same time. If you know what I'm saying. Make sure that all the oil is fully combined with the vermicelli. Then after that, we're going to add the curry water. add this gradually until the vermicelli fully absorb the water so until it's cooked because we don't want it to burn so definitely reduce the heat and add the curry water gradually for faster result cover with some foil and let it cook for 
three to five more minutes while checking it from time to time. So this is pretty much done at this point. I ended up using the whole water. So yeah. So this is it guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Love the content shared here. If that's the case, please give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn that bell notification to be notified anytime I upload a video on my channel. Also, if you recreate this recipe, let me know in a comment down below how was it. And why not share with your friend and family. Until next time, take care.